let us see now what is electrical power now first of all what is power the power is power is rate of doing work if the power is rate of doing work then the electrical power is rate of doing electrical work it's so simple so in other words what we can define electrical power as the electrical power is electrical power is electrical work done in unit time so whatever the electrical work is done in unit time is called as electric power okay in other words we can say that the electrical power is the rate at which the electrical work or the electrical energy is consumed mind well we have to deal in the si units only so the time will be calculated in seconds and so what will be the unit of electrical power then the si unit of electrical power is watts so how will you define 1 watt let us see the definition of 1 watt if the 1 joule of work done in 1 second then the electrical power is 1 watt let us write it down how will you define 1 watt if 1 joule of work is done per second then the electrical power is 1 watt that is 1 joule of work is done in 1 second then the electrical power is 1 watt so how I can write 1 watt is equal to 1 joule in 1 second Again, I am telling you, whenever the examples on electrical power comes, mind well, all the given data must be, that means before you substitute into the formula, all the electrical data or all the given data must be in SI system. Okay. If they give time in minutes, you have to convert them in seconds. Also, you must have a rate written on your mixer or your electric iron or electric heater it is generally not written in the watts it is written in kilowatts and i have already shown you that what is the bifurcations that is the unit kilo mega giga tera and if it comes below zero then it will be milli micro nano and pico so electrical work if you say that one kilowatt will be equal to 10 raised to 3 watts and so on if 10 raised to 6, mega, 10 raised to 9, giga, 10 raised to 12, tera. So it is possible that on your appliances, it may be written as 1000 watts or 1 kilowatts. Let us see few examples on electrical power. Now before going to examples, let us see the formula for calculating electrical power. Power is equal to work upon time. That is P is equal to W upon T. But we know that W is equal to V into I into T joules. If we substitute this W here, what we will get? P will be equal to then V I T upon T where this T will get cancelled and we will get power is equal to V into I. So that the power will be equal to voltage or the potential difference into the current flowing through the conductor. Now by using Ohm's law we will get V is equal to IR. By Ohm's law 
we have v is equal to ir now if we substitute this v is equal to ir here what we will get power will be is equal to i square r so the power will be equal to now we have got the final uh, formula that is p is equal to i square r r or you can say that uh, p is equal to vi doesn't matter okay whatever is the given you have to substitute in the formula of p so if the voltage and current are given then you can say vi if the resistance and current is given you can say i square r and so on now the commercial unit for the electrical energy now the commercial unit for the electrical energy is kilowatt r okay that means the kilowatt per now the electrical energy unit commercial unit is kilowatt r that is kilowatt r so what this means kilowatt that means this is equal to 1000 watt into 3600 seconds because we have to do everything in si units hour is not si units second is the unit of time in si system so this will be equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 watt second or i can say 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joules so ultimately we have 1 kilowatt r 1 kilowatt r is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joules now let us solve few examples on electrical power the first example we'll solve is an electric bulk is connected to 250 volts the v is given 250 volts the current passing through it is 0 0.27 amperes current given is 0 0.27 amperes what is the power of the bulb what is the power of the bulb very easy when you want to calculate power power will be equal to v into i so i'll substitute 250 into 0 0.27 you can see that 250 volt is given and 0.27 ampere is given both are in si system so you can directly substitute the answer is simple just pause your video and calculate the value of this the answer is 67.5 watts the example is very simple it is directly based on the substitution of formula so you don't have to worry much but you have to worry or you have to take care of the arithmetics in this if you miss this your marks are gone so this is a very simple example let us see one more example second example we'll see is <coughs> an electric ion rated 750 watts so the power here they are given is 750 watts is operated for two hours per day the time is two hours two hours per day now generally whenever the electrical energy is consumed it is called as the units okay if the cost of unit is 3 rupees per kilowatt hour is cost is 3 rupees per kilowatt hour find the cost of energy find the cost of energy used to operate electric ion for 30 days total number of days total 30 days we are used that means the electrical ion is used which was having power of 750 watts it was used 2 hours per day and we are using it for 30 days that means total 60 hours are used and cost of is cost of unit is 3 rupees per kilowatt hour so we have to find out the cost of energy okay total cost total energy cost we have to find out let us do this so now how much energy is consumed energy consumed is equal to 750 watts hours into 2 
for 30 days right so it comes to 45000 watt hours when i say 45000 watt hours i can simply write 45 kilowatt hour now it is very simple the total energy consumed is 45 kilowatts hour and the cost is 3 rupees per kilowatt hour so how will you calculate the total cost simple 45 into 3 so what will be the cost of energy now energy cost will be equal to energy consumed into rate that is I have 45 into 3 that much rupees is the total energy cost and that is equal to nothing but 135 rupees so this is your final answer again this is a simple substitution of formula you don't have to worry much about it just pay attention to arithmetical part of it it is directly substitution of formula so here we finish the chapter chapter number four the electric spark and now we will discuss few question answers on this chapter thank you